Snow may visit parts of Midwest, Northeast this weekend. A storm emerging from the plains will fragment into a couple of parts with one portion to race along through the Midwest Friday night and the second piece to move through the Midwest and Northeast later Saturday to early Sunday. Both of these storms will spread a swath of drenching rain along their path. Enough rain can fall. This is especially a concern for parts of Flooding is also possible in northern New England, where there is a substantial amount of snow on the ground. The first storm may bring a stripe of snow or a rain and wet snow mix from southern Wisconsin to part of the lower peninsula of Michigan, central Ontario, and southern Quebec. Rain will fall from the first storm across the eastern Great Lakes and in parts of the central Appalachians Friday and Saturday. The second storm may bring a narrow band of snow from 400 to 500 miles farther to the east from central Indiana and Ohio to northwestern Pennsylvania, western and northern New York State, southern Ontario, and southeastern Quebec. While the exact orientation of both bands will be from southwest to northeast, it is the overall extent and intensity of both that may vary. Within the two snow areas, there is the potential for up to a few inches. However, since the snow would be limited to the northwestern edge of both storms, the balance between cold, dry air and moisture must be just right for snow to fall and for that snow to come down hard enough to accumulate. During late March, it typically has to snow rather hard for snow to accumulate during the daytime on paved surfaces. Light snow can still accumulate on colder surfaces such as the tops of cars, grassy areas, and some bridges and overpasses. Rain will fall from the first storm across the eastern Great Lakes and in parts of the central Appalachians during Friday and Saturday. Saturday will be It is the second storm that will first pull rain across the coastal areas of the northeast, ending the warmth on Sunday. Dry and chilly air will advance across the Great Lakes on Sunday and then the rest of the Northeast by Monday. Dry weather will then hold over much of the Midwest, Central Appalachians, and New England through Wednesday. However, the longevity of the dry weather along the Mid-Atlantic may be threatened by a storm on Wednesday and Thursday while a feature advances eastward across the Midwest on Thursday as well. To see the latest forecast for your area, Search for location slash city.